Alright guys, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If you guys missed the previous video, a lot of drama happened. A lot of drama and a bit of romantic tension, if I may say so myself, which got me quite excited. So last video, we went to the Gongaga uh, reactor, where we had a showdown against Scarlet. Didn't get to kill her, unfortunately. Somehow she survived by escaping away in a kind of half-destroyed mech or whatever she had. Um, and then Tifa had a close encounter with death. I won't spoil it too much, but do check it out. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It was actually really, really uh, engaging. I really enjoyed that moment. And then at the very end, uh, Cloud and Tifa were, I think, two centimeters away from finally sharing a kiss. But it was, ru it was ruined by Yuffie and Kate Sith, which was unfortunate. Now, off camera, I did a bunch of stuff. I explored a bit of the Gongaga region, so you'll see. notice some of the stuff is grayed out now. Um, I also finished every side quest in the Gongaga region so far. None of them super um, unique or irrelevant, but they were actually still fun. I will say that the side quests in this game are infinitely better than the ones in Remake. A lot more interesting and engaging. And I think it's mainly because um, I'm not going through the same locations again and again and again. One of the biggest problems with the Remake side quests was you would go down the same path four times probably. Go there, do the side quest, come back, go again, do it again, come back. So it was... It wasn't the most engaging uh, thing. So yeah, I, you can see in the top left, I've done four, all the four side quests. One relevant thing though. So the side quest involving the weapon maker, which uh, if you guys have watched the last video, you know what I'm talking about. All the way over here. Easel, yeah. Um, it was a straightforward side quest. You just have to find some items for him to craft a weapon. But the weapon he gives you is a new weapon for Barrett, which is currently equipped right now. It's called Fafnir's Rifle. Um, five material slots and its unique ability is uh, point blank. So it's like a close range blast that consumes all ATB charges. Uh, it's it's a disability exists in a remake, but the weapon was on a melee weapon. I don't think Barrett actually has any weapons in this game yet. We've all, I've got five weapons so far. None of them are melee weapons, but two of the melee weapons in remake, their abilities were carried over here with charging uppercut and Fafnir rifle. So I'm close to actually maxing this out. Uh, it's a pretty useful ability. There's a lot of damage. Uh, and aside from that, I'm also trying to get proficiency on Red's weapon, uh, which is the heal, I believe. Is it the heal? I don't actually remember. Yeah, it's the heal one. So right now, we're going to be heading towards the airfield, where we're going to meet up with a pilot who will take us to Cosmo Canyon, because Cosmo Canyon is the hometown of um, Red 13. So, so far, I think it, it's like... You know, we obviously had Corel, North Corel, which focused on Barrett, and uh, then we have Gongaga, which focused on um, a bit of Zack and Aerith, and Tifa, to be fair, actually. So it looks like next, the next region is going to focus mainly on, um, uh, what's his name? Red 13. With that said, let's move onwards. How do we get there? I'm pretty sure I can just fast travel over here. So far, my favorite uh, area area music is definitely uh, area music is definitely for the Gongaga region. I love this. It actually looks like I haven't gotten this tower yet. Been worth getting right now. There's also a hotspot nearby. For Pujata. Legend holds that each time Pujata appears before humans, it takes on a different form. It's been seen wreathed in raging flame, cloaked in chilling ice, and bathed in crackling lightning. For this reason, the people of Gandaga have worshipped it as an embodiment of nature itself for generations. Interesting. I think I need to use this mushroom to bounce on the top, but how do I get on top of that platform? I will say this region is also probably the most confusing one to navigate so far. A lot of jungle, a lot of uh, foliage, you know. Here we go. I see it. I have visual on Kujata. Whoa. I think these ones actually take six button presses. They're actually so far the toughest. Makes sense, but yeah. 
it'll be fun to get Kujata because I do think that the summons in this game in this game are actually stronger than the one from Remake because you can actually level them up. Circle, circles, where's great XX? Okay. Circle, circle. Circle, circle. Okay, so the circle starts there. The square starts near the right tip of the main, and the X starts oh, kind of there. Okay. I think I can do this. Circle, circle, square, square, X, X. There we go. Kujata's design kind of freaks me out. The face, you can see there's like three faces stacked on top of each other. It looks so... Ugh, like... Alright, cool. So that is that done. Thanks to you, Cloud. I'm... All right, let's uh, move on then. Let me just jump off here, right? Is this? Wait, why can't I go down here? Dun, dun. Oh, this music is so good. Why can't I not jump down? Do I have to go the long way? Okay, I do have to go the long way, I see. I think I go all the way down. Come on, you can make that jump. Really? Okay. Here we go. Well, looks like we found the airstrip. Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, or a public telephone booth, eh? Worth a wee look. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow, what do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane, follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane, airplane. Follow, follow the smoke! The smoke. Huh? Huh? Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! <laughs> Two folks. Cosmo Canyon, please. Good. You talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? <clears throat> uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you need guts? Oh, too many. The old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here stretching my ass to y'all pony up. Dude, I have way more than that. 70, almost have 75,000. Dude, you can have double as a tip. 
Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Oh, guys, put the fire out. That's a hazard. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. to find a willing participant. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Well, that's interesting. That's the first time Roach hasn't sounded so flirtatious. It would have taken years, but now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science. My brilliance of guiding light! Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> So is that a sample from the infected robe people? Oh, look at that, Cosmo Canyon. Oh, we're flying? Really? Uh oh. What? Thought maybe plants would be okay. But no. Not in here. Open a window. Uh -oh. Hey, see it. Yeah. You're not worried about flying around in the open like this? What if Shinra sees us? Shinra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, I'm not doing too much, but that looks like the area was supposed to be in, yeah. Alright, we're going in. I don't even think I can crash this plane, like. Oh, there we go, chapter 9 is done. Watcher of the okay, Veil. Folks, we're here. Brought you as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. The 
The veil's this way. So yeah, we only have four chapters left. 10, 11, 12, and... No, five chapters. 10 to 14. Inspect the telephone booth at an airstrip to send up a smoke signal and call up on the tiny Bronco. After lighting, the pilot will happily fly you to an airstrip. Oh, so... Oh, I see how it works. So now I can fly directly either to Gungaga or the Corel airstrip because there isn't airstrip there. That right price will be 1,000 guild for your inaugural trip and 3,000 guild for subse subsequent flights. Also, where are we? Oh, Bahamut. Where is this on the map? Oh, it's up here. Okay, I see. So our journey's gone from Midgar over here to Grasslands to Junon. Then we are all the way to Cosmo. So this was the beach over here. The, the Costa del Sol. Went through Corel Mountain, I think. Kind of looped around here. Then this was the airstrip right down here, I think. And we flew all the way here. So this, this entire area is slowly going to get revealed, I think. Cool. Cosmo Canyon region. This is actually a massive game. Like, I knew it was a big game, but I didn't think it was actually this big. Bahamut Arisen. Got some tire tracks, I think. Let me check this map out real quick. Got a few towers. Bunch of towers. Alright. As usual, I'll tackle them. If they're, on, if they're on the way, I might as well grab them. Otherwise, I'll do it on my own. Since, um... At this point, the objectives are pretty much the same. Every region. Get some towers. Get some combat trials. Scan the summon stuff. And so on and so forth. What is this guy? Ski Ski. Ski Ski. Uh, evading Fury Bomb will pressure them and they're weak to wind. Oh. They look like penguins almost. I mean, this already looks a bit more interesting than Corel Desert because. Corel does look pretty flat. This likely is Oh, these are Sahagins, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I remember them from the first game. They were one of the more annoying enemies to fight. Uh, ice. I thought they were weak to fire in the first game. Interesting, that's... Um, use point blank on this one. Did that do no damage, or am I stupid? And you use, uh, Watcher's Respite, why not? I think what made them really annoying in the first game was that jump attack. Very difficult to dodge, and you can't block it either, so... But obviously this game, I think I can perfect parry it if I get it on at the right time. Oh look, Chocobo Pathways. So there is obviously a new Chocobo here. Favorite Chocobo so far is the Kongaga one. It's just so much fun bouncing on mushrooms and gliding on uh, tree trunks. I don't think... I think I showed you guys that you can grind on tree trunks, but I did it once and it was a lot of fun. Chocobo Ranch, here we go. Look, a ranch. Oh, they're blue ones. <laughs> Hi guys. Aw, oh, they're cute. Shawnee. That you? Who's Shawnee? One of your chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shawnee's your bird? Goodness, no. Shawnee's my daughter. She's a chocobo jockey. Or was, till she fell off her mount during a race. <sighs> Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the saddle. I see. Oh. Tell me, 
You kids any good at writing? Very. Yeah, we dabble. Wonderful. In that case, how would you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee, but now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. <laughs> Whoa! That sounds amazing! <laughs> you want to try it, right? Imagine how jealous everyone will be. Sure. But first, you'll need to catch yourself a chocobo. One that isn't afraid of heights. A fine bird like Apony ought to do you, though. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Apony. paths and bewildering brush lands. She'll guide you through it all with ease. Alright, Choco and Toe, Choco tracks located. Okay, so we need to get Apony first. I was about to say, it's been a long time since I've actually engaged in the Chocobo hunting or capturing minigame. So it's, uh... Alright, Chadley's here. No, I mean, the more I talk to Chadley, the more I'm like, oh, please, dude, enough. I see you too have come to do a little avian investigation. While most Chocobos run on land, the birds around here are capable of taking to the skies. Flying on Chocoback must be quite the thrill. Interesting that, uh... I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Not many of them are... Most of them are flightless, apparently. Uh, I think I'm good on Magnata. I've, uh, I've kind of upgraded a lot of stuff off-camera. It is getting slower, as I said, in the... During the previous video. Uh, plus I'm also level 37. I believe the max level is level 70, based on the trophy that says get to level 70. And if it's gonna be anything like Remake, you won't be able to do it in one playthrough. You need to do a New Game Plus to be able to do it. Any chest over here? Any weapon chest? Any... It's a nice looking place. Alright, let's go get Apony. And the Remnant Wave Tower here. Probably the easiest um, Remnant Wave Tower I've done so far. Alright, so that's Apony. Okay, it's just a live stream. Alright, anything else here? There's nothing above me, right? Yeah, okay. Now, how do I get to Apony? It looks like I need to... I guess keep following the path and take a left at some point. That's a nice looking site. Big rock formation. This is the left here, right? It's somewhere this way. Where's the chocobo baby? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a brown one. Interesting. Why is it not blue? So cute. Maybe the blue one, the feathers kind of molt off and become blue, I guess? I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming that the babies here grow into the colored chocobos of that region. It makes the most sense logically, right? So, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just making shit up. Who knows? Uh, That path, where does that go? Does that go up? To the um, that ledge over there? No, it doesn't. It's a dead end. Okay. All right, here we go. This is Apony, I assume. Look, that's got 
gonna be happening. All right, use the card to block the chocobo's view. Shouldn't I be grabbing it from? Oh, I think it's going to keep turning around, maybe. I think. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, these stealth sections aren't the best, in my, uh, clearly. They're not very well thought of. They feel very clunky. That's the best way to describe them. Why would that bird not look to its, uh, look to its le right, right? Like, is this bird going to, it's going to spot me, right? It's looking right at me. Okay, now it turned around. Nope. Hmm. How am I supposed to... Guess that works. <laughs> yeah, see, very clunky. It, it it just feels a little silly how it works. Alright, we're gonna move this all the way back here. So that I can flip the tracks. Don't turn around, you see nothing. So next up is the one on the right. I mean, the one behind me should conveniently fall asleep now that I've quote-unquote finished that checkpoint, I guess. So is this going to turn around or not? That's my question. It will. There we go. Move, 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 Cloud, move. I can just do this. You saw nothing. Alright, I think that should be safe enough. I believe if I throw this here. Oops. 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 Can I not flip the switch with the rock? I swear I could. Maybe not. Okay, then no, I what I need to do is I need to um I need to, like throw it over here. Do that and then roll back.
So is it safe to... I think I'll be fine for a bit. Okay, that's thing. Yeah, that one's fallen asleep, which means I can comfortably... Oh lord, which one spotted me? No! Oh shit. <laughs> um... I'm gonna grab these just in case. I think this is why I need to chuck rocks. Grab all of these just to be 100% sure. And then I'll eat this over here. Oh, that I'm distracted. Shoot. Go, 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 go. Alright, Apony, so now it's your turn. That one fell asleep. Oh, that's fast. Never mind, okay. Holy hell, that was fast. Okay, that's the end. Okay, I see, I see. So... Got you. Easy girl, we got you. The birds of the whale are fearless and can leap from certain ledges to fly across the region's steep chasms. While on Chocoback, take flight from gliding range mark ranges marked with the icon and ride the generator's air currents to access hard to reach locations. Alright. Just hit me. You don't get sick on Chocoback. Amazing, isn't it? It's like my Chocobo and I share one mind. One body. One soul. Uh-huh. Or maybe my body just hates shimmer cars, trains, and boats. They ought to find a way to make the ride smoother for this stuff. I think they got other priorities. That's true. Alright, uh so I'm supposed to go all the way down okay, down here. This should be fun. I don't wanna fight you, Sagan. Uh how do I get past you guys? Oh, here we go. This is it. Abony, you always seem to find me, no matter where I go. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me guess. You're Shani? Uh, you were talking with your mom earlier. She said you weren't using the training facility she built. Figured if you're not up for it, then we could give Apony her exercise. No, don't. We'll bring her back. All right, it's settled. And Chocobo Whisperer Yuffie gets first dibs. All right, up and at him. Am I supposed to interact with that? Let me check something. In Glide the Chocobo, your goal is to earn points by passing through as many rings as possible before your talents touch the ground. Use Apony's swift vertical mobility to reach high-scoring rings while keeping yourself aloft on the current generator's updrafts. 
Another mini game. Damn. So I get a new weapon, looks like it, for Yuffie at uh, level 3. Okay. Crescent Sickle. A uh, new weapon is always a good thing. I will say I'm su- It's insane how many weapons this game- Oh, I could replace Yuffie. For this. I don't want motion sensor, please. I don't like motion sensor controls ever. Oh, that's a lot of height. I did not expect it to be that much. I missed this, but I'll go for the 300. So the weird thing is, right, the plane we are flying, Sid's plane, that had inverted controls, vertical controls, but this does not. So it's kind of throwing me off. It's not consistent, right? I think I need 3600, I believe, for level 3, so... I think if I... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Up and at him, up and at him. Oh, that's... This is a good line. I don't see a... Generator over here. Uh-oh. I'm gonna land. No, I don't wanna land. A hundred? Are you serious? Uh, you guys know the drill. I will skip ahead until I finish uh, the level three one. <laughs> you know, if I were racing at the gold saucer, I bet on me. Don't let it go to your head. I could do what you just did in my sleep. Before you start talking big, you gotta at least finish the other regiments first. Damn, she's gonna move the gold post, huh? Fine. Whatever you throw at me. Oh, there's another one. Wait, let me do this one again. Yeah, so I'll skip ahead until I finish this one. See you guys then. Alright, got it. Second attempt. So, essentially the 100 ring that I missed the first try, that's all I had to get. Obtain the Crescent Sickle. Okay, so let's check this weapon out. Yuffie. Um, fort. A lot of ma- Ooh, that looks sexy. Let the shuriken fly across the battlefield, mowing down all enemies it touches. Can use while airborne. Okay. That seems like a lot of fun. Uh, let's slap on... It seems useful. We'll get this and this. Slightly fills the ATP gauge at the start of the battle. Increased damage attack that attacks by elemental material. That's pretty useful. Increased limit gauge damage. Fill the ATP gauge after blocking. Perfect. I think I'll do this. So once uh, Barrett's is done, I'll switch to Yuffie. Alright, so there's now a round two of this. I assume it's going to get harder. There's also track over here, so... This doesn't seem like it leads to the quest area, so... Maybe up here, I think, yeah. Where art thou? Oh, it's below me. Oh, and the other bunny rabbits over here. So yeah, if you ever see bunny rabbits, there's always, uh, they always have treasure buried. And it's always worth, worth value. So I got an emerald, for example, which is, like, use useful in crafting, I believe. There's also an achievement to dig up two treasures buried by rabbits, which I've already finished. Um, where's it? Here it is. Since I was little, we rode together so much we could tell what each other was thinking. 
and we never had a crash. Until? During my last race, I hit another chocobo and fell. As soon as I hit the dirt, I looked up and saw the feet, the claws coming right at me. Every time I close my eyes, I see them again. I'd like to be alone, okay? <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be. Fine. I'll give poor Apony the exercise she needs. Alright, uh... Oh yeah, uh, Yuffie now is in the green. So I think everybody is in the blue. Only Yuffie's left. Uh, yeah. I've done a bunch of side quests for them, right? No, 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 no. Let me... I didn't want to get on Apony, but... Okay, so... Moogle medals, 7200 is what I need, alright. See if I can get it first try, if not, same thing. I'll skip ahead. I assume there'll be a third course as well after this. Oh, it's moving. Oh lord, have mercy. Alright, as usual, I should obviously prioritize the high scores. And try to get every ring that is on the way. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't do that. Me. There we go. I'm falling with style, as Woody would say. Wait, was this the right one? Was that the right one? Uh, I'm not. Sh oh, shit, 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 shit. No, I went down, Maxon. Son of a bitch. <laughs> This is such a bad attempt. Horrible attempt. Horrible. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. That was atrocious. I think the going down was complete bait. Because you can see in the distance, a like a few 500s I can see in the far distance. Yeah, the one going down seems like a bait. I need to take the upper path. Yeah, so we go up. I know there's a 300 below, I know. But I think that's a bait. We'll see though. There we go. Fly up. Higher, higher. There we go. I don't think I have the... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wait, how am I supposed to... Holy hell. That is not easy. Yeah, that should do it. I'm surprised. I was very confused where to go to gain height. I didn't see any generator unless I missed it. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I mean, we could have done way better, but that'll do. You can't just force a chocobo to do what you want. You should have established a bond with Apony before heading out. You've got to be on the same page when you're running a course. Be completely in sync. You don't say. Then why don't you, a real jockey, show us how it's done? <laughs> I can't believe you people. I'm going home. Oh, crap. That certainly backfired. Yeah, yeah. No need to rub it in. Come on, let's catch up with her. Not yet, Yuffie. Not yet. Alright guys, so I actually managed to get the level 2 reward. It's surprisingly difficult. Like, you need to be quite perfect with the movements. So I've decided I'm going to finish the level 3 one later on in my own time. Bars, Yuffie. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get really frustrated if I don't, if I try doing it now. It took me like... 10 tries to get the level 2 one, because you kind of have to go in, down and immediately pull up, and that gives you a bit of height as well, so... 
it's quite challenging, I will say. So, so far, I think the, the most, cha um, like, challenging minigame I've played because it requires a, a lot of perfection. Anyway, the third one, I assume, is gonna be this one right here. And if the second one was that hard, I can't even imagine the third one. Oh, it's this one over here, okay. What are you doing? Why are you still following me? You know I can't ride you anymore. <sighs> Afini, I'm sorry, but I can't. I just can't. Says who? You just watch. I'm gonna prove to you that there's no other bird that can fly like Afini. I will. Um, I'm the one doing it, UP. You're just r all along for the ride. It's not that easy as you think. Uh, Barry Materia, 9,600. You know what? I'm just going to look at 4,800, and I want to get that. That is my goal. This is very difficult. So... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to frustrate myself. Oh, no. I, should, I shouldn't have started like that, should I? Maybe, maybe it works out. Maybe it works out. It worked out. Okay, okay. Alright, got some sharp turns to take. Come on, Apony. Come on. You got this, baby girl. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so this looks like some kind of dive bombing stuff gonna happen here. Immediately pull up. There we go. So that's what you're supposed to do in, uh, in the second one as well. But... Obviously, look, I missed that one because I, I think I went too low. No, no, are you serious? Uh, I Agreed. So it's supposed to be done immediately. Like you, 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 you flick it down and immediately yeah. flick it up. But um, yeah, this is like, I'm surprised that this is, okay, what? How did she, I not get enough hype? That was weird. That was so weird. Why didn't I get enough? I didn't even pull down on my controller. Like, look at what... Okay. I do not know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I should not touch my control my analog stick. Maybe that... I Maybe it's because they're going higher. I do it now. I screwed up, didn't I? I screwed up. This is way... No, 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 no. I missed the 500, which is really bad. I don't even know how I... I have to get... Oh. You know what? I'm gonna do it one last time on video. If I fail, I'm just gonna skip until I finish it. I think I do it now. Because now they're gonna start moving down as I move forward. So that should allow me to... Yeah, there we go. That's much better timing. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So when they're about to hit the apex of the height, that's when I start the countdown. We go take a far... F tight right turn. Tight left turn. Now a tight right turn. And then we go here. So far, so good. This will boost us up. Dun, 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 dun. And up we go. Um, yeah, that was uh, decent. I right, go in and up again. Oh, is that too low? I think I got it, maybe. Yeah, I got two. Uh, shoot, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. I mean, I got the level one score. I'm, I'm more than happy. I'm, uh, this is something I'm gonna do on my own time when I, you know, 
don't have to worry about recording. I missed that. Are you serious? Flick up. Go, 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 go. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Yeah, see, look at the height I'm supposed to get. I don't think I'm going to make that. Okay, I got the lower one. Like, to get the upper one, you need to dive bomb at the... and Like, you, be, you basically need to go down and pull up at the right, right time. That is difficult. Don't you think I know that? There's something on your mind. Just say it. The day I fell, I just... I got overconfident. Figured I had the race in the bag. I started thinking about all of the ways I was going to spend the prize money. I wasn't focused. But when I was rounding the final corner, Apony and I, we got out of sync. Before I knew it, I was in the dirt. Apony jumped in front to try and protect me. And because of that, she got herself hurt. <laughs> so I, I just can't get back in the saddle. I can't. What if I hurt her again? I never forgive myself. <laughs> You're up, Mr. Merc. Put those chocobo interpreting skills to work. <gasps> it was a terrible accident. But <laughs> it's the hair, it's giving him powers. From that experience, and can grow. As chocobo and rider, and strive to not repeat past mistakes. Once we've healed, Shani, let's race together again. You got that? Apony. making you worry mom i promise i won't give up not again <sighs> that's all i wanted to hear be warned when i'm healed up you're going down <laughs> bring it on hey let's go yuffie is now at dark green cool okay I hope there's no trophy linked to that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 wait up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Why'd she just throw me off like that? Alright, time to actually get to our destination. I was, I, I was, I didn't expect the side quest to be that long. But I don't mind, it was a fun side quest. Um, where am I headed, by the way? Not now. I'll do that later. Yeah, to the left here. Okay. Hey, so I think you need to ask me something. He said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how did he do it? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? What he's doing, but how? He doesn't give a shit if anyone dies in the process. He sounds like a total nutter. I mean, there's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? That said, let's not forget that he's still got a whole other problem. Yeah, these skeet skis. Why is it clear? 
Loud and clear. I mean, if my suspicions are correct, that conversation is about to happen at some point, so... Come on, attack me. There we go. No vengeance mode. And then... I mean, I, I should have entered vengeance mode. I'm stupid. I forgot that it, can, it, it uses all your vengeance charge to heal, right? How close am I to getting proficiency on those, by the way? It's... Yeah, this one's gonna take some time. Barret's almost done, so that's good. Damn, that's a pretty sight. Quite high up, aren't we? Can I avoid the Sahagin? Nope. You know what? No, let's use a full charge. And... Point blank. Get your ass over here. I missed. <laughs> Alright, so that's Barrett done. Let me see if my if Fafnir is better than anything else. 45. Fafnir's got really good magic damage, which is something I don't use a lot on him, but I'll keep it for now. Why not? Alright, so now we need to swap you out for Yuffie. But I think we're almost there. Cosmo Canyon, a sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. All right, here we go. It does look really nice though. Very, is that an observatory on top? Yeah. Holy shit, that's his real voice. <laughs> Nanaki? I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Come on. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Good people, I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softie. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. Go 
But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Okay, first of all, Nanaki's real voice is very... It doesn't fit his look, <laughs> that's for sure. Secondly, Aerith obviously knew what he, his real voice was because they've talked to each other in private, obviously. And thirdly, Kate is responsible for the posters looking the way they are because of that cutscene. Which means, yeah, Reeves, uh, Reeve Twesty, I think his name was, is on our side. Why though? We'll, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Alright. So I think what we'll do is we'll go meet up with Bugenhagen, I think that's what he said. Alright. Um, this area re reminds me a lot of uh, the Horizon series. For, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. Architecture wise. Kind of si I can see some similarities. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Let me quickly check if I can crop anything. I can. Um, anything that's big XP doesn't look like it, which means... Get this stuff done here. Uh, is that it for now? Yeah, that's it for now. Wait, why is Tifa in my... I wanted a... Oh yeah, because a red got removed, right? Ah, I see, I see. Let me... Remove Barrett. We'll put uh, Yuffie in, and I'll play with Kate Sith for now. Nanaki. The Sildra Inn. There's also some side quests here. We've got... Um, Chadley. Planetology rejects our Mako consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. Anytime I think uh, I hear planetology, I hear um, Scientology, which is never a good thing. I'm certain, however, a veteran mercenary like you would never. Right, so I can rest here if I want to. There's also a Queen's Blood play and a piano. Uh, I think I'll do all that in the next video. Uh, I just want to finish the main cutscene off and then end the video here. It's already been pretty long. Alright, how do I get up there? This way? Yeah, this way, okay. Weapon Smith. Oh, let me just check the weapon guy in case. I don't think I've missed a weapon yet. Red Megaphone. Where did I miss this? Okay, apparently I did, but Don't you dare use my weapons for anything unsavory. I mean they're weapons. What do you think I'll use them for? Alright, let's give that to Kate. Alright, high damage, decent magic. Moogle kaboom. Turn your Moogle into a ticking time bomb that explodes when it leaves combat. Oh, okay. So you can synergize it with the other ability where you jump off it. No materia slots. Interesting. That's... Increased luck by 100. That sounds nice. And... Lucky Jockey. Wait. Is my... Is... His luck start is still at 69. That's... Oh, while riding. Right here. Yeah, while riding. Okay. Alright. So we need to go higher. I don't actually know if I like that weapon though because it gives you no materia slots. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, 
and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. No, I'm not kid. Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that'll do. I'm gonna steal some shut-eye, if you don't mind. Then, we can see the site. Alright, cool. So I think I'll end the video here. Seems like a lot's gonna happen next time. I don't think he's sleeping. I think he's just powered down. That's a fake. He's powered down. But yeah, uh, next time I'll quickly defeat the... I think I'll defeat the Queensbill player off-camera. Uh, I'll showcase the music piano thing off, uh, definitely. And then we'll go talk to... B Bugenhagen? I, I, keep think I think that's his name. Bugenhagen. Anything else to see here? There's supposed to be another Queen's Blood player here somewhere, since there's three on the ma uh, on the top left. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, do show your support below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.